Hello everyone. Back again with film recaps. In this video, I will recap one of a sci-fi films from 2019, titled Coma. Before we get to the storyline, don't forget to like and subscribe for more film recaps and have a great day. The film begins with a man named Victor, who has just woken up from his sleep. He looks confused as he looks around the room. Victor notices that there is a photo of him with a woman. He also notices things around him disintegrating, before mysteriously regenerating. He then tries to get out of his room, but he is instead surprised by someone who appears to be missing a part of his body. Victor then walks around where he is even more bewildered by what he sees. At that point, he sees a world with a strange gravity, as well as buildings that are in an extremely unnatural position. All areas appear to be connected, from Big Ben, the capital, to the Burj Khalifa. When he is staring at one of the nearby buildings, he starts to imagine what the building is used to look like. As he stares at it, the structure suddenly starts to restore and returns to its original shape. But after that, he sees that there is a creature not far from him. He then realizes that the creature is coming towards him, and is attempting to attack him. Victor is almost hit by the creature, but he is helped by two men and a woman. These strange creature are called Reaper. They all start running as the creature continues to chase them. All of them manage to escape from the Reaper's pursuit, through the abyss with a strange gravity force. After that, they pass through China, which was created from the coma patient's memory, and then proceeds straight to Venice. However, the creature manages to catch up with them, and is get shot by one of them, but that isn't enough to kill it. They've been cornered by the creature, so they decide to take cover for a moment. In the end, they have no other choice, and one of them sacrifices himself by exploding together with the Reaper. After the incident, Victor tries to ask a woman who has helped him about where he is now. The woman then explains that he is in a coma world, where the people in that world are those who are in a coma in the real world while the buildings and places that exist are made up of the memories of people who are in a coma. This woman's name is Fly. She has a unique ability which is the ability to heal wounds. After a long journey, they then get into a bus. And it turns out that the front door and the back door of the bus have two different dimensions, each of which can take them to another dimension. After they arrived at the base, one of the women approaches them and asks about the pilot, a man who has previously blown himself up. Because the pilot is forced to sacrifice himself, there's a little argument between them. Soon after, they are pacified by a leader of the group named Yan. And the man who has helped Victor named Phantom. Fly explains that their reason to help Victor, is because they have a strong feeling that Victor will take them to an island, where they will be safe from the attacks of the Reapers. On the following night, Victor sleeps in a room that has been set aside for him. In his sleep, he dreams about sketches, billboards, buildings, hallway, and accidents that cause him to fall into a coma. When Victor awakens, he sees that his room is already filled with what he has dreamed of. Shortly after, Phantom comes to him and warns him not to go there, because he can get lost, and there will be no way out. In fact, everyone in coma world has forgotten who they are in the real world. But each of them has unique abilities, that are dependent on what they do in the real world. The next day, Victor will be put to a test to see what kind of abilities he possesses. Among the advantages possessed by them are Spirit, who can sense the presence of Reapers and summon Spirits. Astronomer with a specialization in mapping. Gnome are the master mechanics of the world. And the pilot who died yesterday was able to find a person who had just arrived in this world. Well, in order to explore unseen powers, they usually have to be pushed into dangerous situations. Therefore, the first test is carried out, in which Victor has to catch the fired cannon bullet. But after a few times he tried, he is unable to recognize his own abilities. After that, he'll have to face off against the great machine built by the gnome. The robot hits Victor several times, making him fall to the ground. As he tries to block the attacks from the machine, faint glowing lines appear over him, but they fade away quickly. At this point, 
Phantom asks about his profession in the real world, and Victor says he's an architect. They all then refer to him as architect, but they have no idea of what his ability is. Victor has another dream later that night, and it is the same as the one he had the night before. However, this time in his dream, he sees more details that indicate the place is a hospital. The following day, Yan explains to Victor about the time difference between the real world and the comatose world, and how it is calculated. He claims that one day in the real world, corresponded to several months in the comatose world. Yan claims that he has been there for 15 years, and asserts that people can even survive for thousands more. Following that, Victor and the others are assigned to retrieve explosives, from a submarine that appears in Cable's memories. On their way to the submarine, Astronomer explains that the dream space in their room, stores a great deal of information about what they have memorized in the real world. While they are discussing, Spirit senses the presence of the Reapers above them, but Astronomer assures them that the distance between them, and the Reapers at that time is two days journey. A little explanation about Reapers, Reapers themselves are coming from people who have experienced brain death in coma. They explain to Victor that Reapers can sense humans through a particular signal they emit. Plus, Known points out that he created the whistle, so one of them can use it to lure the creatures and blow themselves up. The Reaper can also infect people, causing them to turn into Reaper as well. They soon arrive at the submarine port, which is guarded by armed men from Cable's memories. When astronomers are working on a plan, Phantom suddenly gets impatient and attacks the guards. The explosion alerts the other guards, forcing the squad to engage them in a firefight. Spirit also uses her abilities, to assist Astronomer in defeating the guards. After manages to take out all the guards, Astronomer approaches Phantom and scolds him for his actions, which could provoke the arrival of the Reapers through the firefight. But Phantom arrogantly said that he has the right to do so, because he is the group leader. After that, they go inside to retrieve the torpedo from the submarine. The torpedo has to be taken very carefully because if it dropped, it could cause a massive explosion. Four of them holding the chains to lift the armament while Cable detaches it from the ship. While they are picking up the torpedoes, Spirit suddenly senses the Reaper's presence. At this point, the torpedo cannot be taken yet. Phantom then tells some people to handle the Reapers, while Cable, Gnome and Victor will stay there to retrieve the torpedo. The chain, however, is too heavy for one person to hold, so the architect asks for help. Fly and Astronomer then return to help them. In his frustration, Phantom shoots the chain and breaks it causing Cable and the torpedo to slip from the submarine. Due to the tense situation, the architect manifests his ability and saves Cable, by creating a ramp out of thin air, allowing him and the armament to safely slide down the ramp. Yan, knowing Victor's abilities, suggests that the architect to build an entirely new island for them, instead of using the sites that have been constructed from their memories. He argues that a new place built from scratch, unattached from any memory would be safe from the Reapers. Yan announces that they'll be leaving their base in the morning. He then appoints the astronomer as the new squad leader, due to Phantom's recklessness. Furious from losing his position, Phantom threatens to reveal Yan's secrets to the whole group. While everyone else sleeps, the architect tries to create something with his mind but he fails. Fly sees him and realizes that he hasn't learned to control his abilities yet, so she chastises him for telling Yan that he can build the island. She points out that the architect was able to come up with a blueprint, when he was concentrating and moving his hand, so the architect tries again. He starts thinking of a 3D layout until it manifests, and slowly turns into a model of a spiral-shaped building. Fly inspects the model and asks the architect if she could see his memories. When they get to his room, she notices the overturned car, and surmises that Victor had been in an accident. Victor reveals that before he fell into a coma, he was in the car to meet with a potential client, but the meeting turned out to be a trap. Fly says she only has a few memories of her past, and the only thing she remembers that she can't be with the person she loves. She leans in to kiss the architect, saying that the coma has made it possible. The next day, they are all ready to go to the island. While the astronomer is explaining the route of the trip, Phantom took a whistle secretly from Gnome's bag. Halfway through their journey, Spirit informs of the Reaper's presence. They don't realize that the Reapers could detect their presence, due to the detectors that has been activated by Phantom. They then start to split up, and Astronomer tells Victor to go up the hill to find a different route. 
But Phantom deliberately follows Victor, causing the Reaper also lured towards Victor, due to the signal from his whistle. When the Reaper gets close to Victor, a man named Tank manages to shoot Reaper, allowing them to escape. Then, Phantom stuffed his whistle into Victor's jacket, intending to accuse him. Unfortunately for him, the team is able to figure out his bad plan. Phantom realizes of what has happened to them actually, while his body starts to turn into Reaper. However, just as he is about to say it, he is shot by Yen, but he manages to run away from that place. The number of Reapers is increasing because many of them have been infected. Those who have no power are forced to die. Phantom, realizing that his body is already falling apart, tries to call the attention of a Reaper using the whistle, but the creature ignores him. While the others are struggling to escape from Reapers, a light suddenly appears, and Victor has awoken from his coma. And he begins to recall all of the events that have happened to him and led to his coma. In his memory, he recalls an incident while he is with his girlfriend, and it turns out that her lover is Fly. They're on their way to a sex headquarters at the time, as they have received an invitation from Victor's client. When they arrive, the girl who is already suspicious with the clients gives him an electric shocker, and warns him that the client is a notorious sect that might use his designs malevolently. Victor then enters the building, and passes the rooms that that he had seen in his dream. It turned out that there is already a man waiting for him, and that man is Yan. In the real world, Yan turns out to be a scientist who is developing a project, the project deals with life in a coma. Yan deliberately invites Victor there, to help him build a safe place from the reapers in the comatose world. He claims to have discovered a brain condition in coma patients, that allows them to access a different world. Yan invites Victor since he knows that Victor is an architect, but Victor refuses Yan's request. Yan is then assisted by his men, in putting Victor to sleep. Luckily, the taser he has brought with him earlier manages to help him escape from there. As Fly is driving, she doesn't focus on the road and causes them to collide with a truck. As a result, Yan and his men take the bodies of Victor and Fly, to be treated at the hospital. After Victor awakens from his unconsciousness, Yan tells him who they really are. He reveals that the religious sect was only a cover to help them raise funds for their operation. And their plan to give a new world to everyone through the project they are developing is real. And of course, Yan would not succeed without Victor's help to create a comatose world. This is because the greatest fear in the comatose world is the Reapers. Everyone in the room had been injected into a coma by Yan. Plus, it turns out that Phantom's memory has actually recovered, but he wants to stay in his coma, in order to avoid having to deal with the realities of life in the real world. Therefore, Yan wants Victor to build his project in a coma world, but Victor refuses and does not want to interfere with their plans. Yan then warns Victor that if Fly is touched by the Reaper, she will suffer from death brain, and Yan promises to release them both, once Victor has completes Yan's construction project in the comatose world. In the end, Victor has no choice and decides to save Fly who is still unconscious. After that, Victor wakes up again in his apartment. Meanwhile, Fly and the others have started to surrender to their situation. Before the Reapers can launch their attack, Victor arrives to take them to an island, where he will begin work on Yan's project. Once they arrive, Victor begins to use his abilities to create a new island for them to live on. The place that was originally empty, has now been built into a magnificent futuristic building. However, just as they are about to enter, Yan reveals a fact that they have all personally experienced in the real world. Spirit, who turns out to be from a mental institution, suffers from frequent hallucinations and convulsions, she has no family and has recently lost her only child. Tank, stressed about losing his family in an accident, that occurred due to his drunkenness. Astronomer also turns out to be autistic, and taken care by his very old parents. And Victor, his architectural design idea was too far ahead of his time, causing it to be unrealistic, so no one wanted to go with the design. In addition, he is left by Fly, they had a fight because of his unrealistic architectural design, and Victor was becoming too emotional. It turns out that Victor's construction project is only being used by Yan, 
to live in himself in a coma world, while all of them are not allowed to live there. Not long after, Tank's body began to fade. It turns out that in the real world, Jan's men have cut off their oxygen supply. They have tried to fight back, but their efforts are in vain. Astronomer then tells them that if they want to wake up in the real world, they must first find their actual bodies in the dream world. They then return to the headquarters, and enter the dream inside Victor's room. Inside the hospital, they look for the bodies of each of them in a room. But it turns out that the condition in the dream world has changed, because everything in it has been connected to the memories of people who are in a coma. Therefore, Victor will need to remember any details that lead their way to his coma room. After Victor recalls the details of his room, they are able to begin their way to look for it. At that moment, Astronomer's body is starting to fade. And Yan is already waiting for them, he blocks Fly and Victor from finding the body. However, by chance, Phantom, who is transformed into a Reaper comes to help Victor and Fly, by attacking Yan causing Yan to melt. A few moments later, Victor finally wakes up from his coma, and sees Fly who is still unconscious. He then tries to wakes her up, before they rushed away from there. Yan's men arrive in the ward, only to find that Yan has passed away. Before the film ends, the couple soon learns that there will be no charges against Yan's sect, due to a lack of evidence against them. Victor has started to design an ordinary buildings designed to attract potential clients. Plus, Fly has become even more supportive of Victor's efforts, in his architecture job. And with that, the film end. Okay guys. That's all the recap for Coma 2019. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next video.